If we picked up a comb off of the road, yeah, the man she had come knocking at the window at night time, looking, you should never pick up a comb, not a knife. A knife is supposed to take your health. If you found a pen knife, yeah. it was all the bad luck of a knife. Yeah. But the comb, as you say, if, if we picked up off the road, the man she had come at a certain hour of the night and knocking the window for the comb. For the comb? And uh, this woman one time, the man she knocked, and she got the comb and she put it in a tongue, you know the tongues, and left it out to the window like that. And the tongues were cut in two. Yeah. There it is. Uh, Jesus Patrick yeah. tell you a slice. Yeah, they cut the tongues were cut in. If she left it out with her hand, her arm was gone. Uh -huh. She left the tongue. Yeah. And the tongues were cut in two. There it is, anyway. I heard my brother saying that, that uh, before my father died, he was coming home from somewhere one night and he heard the banshee. And he said, that's a sign of something. And he told me that a few nights after a week died, a few days after his father died. Yes, well, just before somebody would die, you'd hear three knocks. There'd be nobody there, so... If you knew there was somebody going to die for the place. Or, uh, well, I'm, I'm, what am I now? I'm 84 now, so it didn't come nothing for me yet. So. I remember at home we were going down the road one evening for the cows, and I found a comb on the ground on the road, and I picked it up. And my father said, "You should throw away that." He said, "Don't bring that home, because that might be belonging to the banshee." <coughs> you know. So. <laughs> you know, cows in Miss McCrory. Oh yeah. yeah I've been well, poor Lizzie now. And um, the banshee started on the top of the hill and used to cry. And well, when we were young, we were told we used to hear the cry. I don't remember it now. And she died. And he used to walk sort of from the apple tree up to her gate and keep up and down crying. It's my, my sister, Nora Murphy. She was Nora Hock at the time, she wasn't married. She was going out to the village and joking her um, her uncle sent her out to the village for tobacco. And going out the, this road, um, she seen this little woman sitting on a sort of a ledge of a tree and she she was mourning and combing her hair. And she got to fright, she passed her by anyhow, but she wouldn't go back the same way. She came back to a bog. And she was just after saying there to me now, she could have been drowned in the bog. She didn't know the bog at all. <laughs> there was an old woman in our road, and um, the banshee cried, and she, this old woman died the next day. Well, down at Connors's Cross, mm. there was this tree in, in a, a, a farm you know, in the field. And the children used to go out there and play. And the next day they went out and there was a whole lot of combs there. Mm. And they took them home to their mother. And the mother said, them are the banshee combs. Take them back and put them where you got them. So she made them take back the combs, but she was the comb they were supposed to be there still doing their hair. And that happened at Gertine Cross now. Who was there? The Banshee was there, was it? No. The Banshee. No. Banshee, yeah.